Dean, I'm the nurse educator in Grace Centre for Newborn Care at the Kids Hospital West Me. My name is Pauline Wilson, mm -hmm. commonly name, known as Willie. I'm a palliative care nurse practitioner based at Nepean Cancer Care Centre and Nepean Hospital. The Edith Cavill is a scholarship that's offered annually through the New South Wales Nurses Association. It can assist you in terms of postgraduate study or seeking funding to go overseas to a conference. I applied to actually go to um, attend an international, international conference for nurse practitioners, advanced nurses in London and I combined it with a visit to St Christopher's Hospice. I found out via my membership, via the um, lamp and I think it's also advertised within our hospital. I saw it in a, um, the lamp as well as on the internet. It was very easy, you just really need to submit a costing for what you're asking for if it's a travel based um, application you need to submit an itinerary as well. So I put the application in supported by um, both my medical and nursing um, colleagues and was very fortunate to receive um, two and a half thousand towards my trip overseas. Yeah I was um, very lucky to be granted a scholarship for the 2012 year of 2012. Um, I received a $2,500 scholarship that contributed to my attendance at an international nurse education conference called NetNep 2012 and um, I went there and I presented a poster. I also had the opportunity to, I had a poster um, accepted for presentation at the international conference and that was, the title of that was um, Nurse Led Renal Supportive Clinic. So um, I felt quite honoured to have been able to at least have had the poster accepted. We went to Baltimore in um, the United States. It was really, really interesting. Uh, when we arrived in Baltimore, it was the celebration. When we got there, there was lots of tall ships and sailors and it was very overwhelming. And then I attended the conference in Baltimore for four days and it was really looking at undergraduate, postgraduate and clinical education. And I presented a program that we developed at the kids' hospital and it was about supporting the development of knowledge in um, first year registered nurses. It was really well received. We were asked to publish. It was very um, varied in um, what was available. They had a, a lot of different clinical streams, but palliative care was certainly represented. It gave me a global perspective of education that really isn't very different from what we practice in Australia. The competence of nurse educators was also looked at, and that's something that's incredibly difficult to define, so that was good to come back to the unit and discuss with my peers. Looking at our different models of nurse practitioner, the introduction of um, looking at more nurse-led clinics and expanding our role particularly in the rural and remote areas. And at the end of my um, attendance at the conference I actually visited a couple of NICUs in the States as well so that was incredibly useful to be able to compare our practice uh, versus the practice in America and Canada I actually went to as well. It was an invaluable experience. Yeah, I'd say definitely apply. It's an easy process and if financial means are the reason that's holding you back from application, this is a way that you can be supported. I would encourage everybody, it is not a daunting experience to apply for the um, scholarship and, you know, I feel that as part of our continuous professional development, it's a wonderful opportunity to have access to that scholarship. Just grateful for the opportunity, it really assisted me.